Now joined by Coach Mark Pavlik after his team lost to UCLA tonight. Coach, uh, what's your big takeaway from today's match? I, I hope that we realize that physicality is the premium that we have to pay to compete at the level that we want to compete at. We can't be the team that if the ball goes up and it's slightly outside of our window of comfort, we all of a sudden just abdicate our physicality and roll shot this and tip there. We gotta, we gotta be physical from behind the line. We gotta be, be physical offensively. We gotta be physical defensively, where you know we're not trying to hedge our bets and, and block everything. We go get our guy. We get across the net. And I, I think that's that's what this team has got to be, become comfortable with, where they're playing a game that is not safe. They've got to be aggressive. Coach, you look at, obviously I know Nittany Lion fans would want two wins this weekend, but how beneficial is it for your team to go on out and play these caliber teams this early in season? Then that's the reason we're here, because nothing – exposes your warts than, a, than great teams. And anytime you can get on the court against Stanford, anytime you can get on the court against UCLA, SC, Ohio State, you learn more and more about your team. And then it's up to you to see, hey, what can we do back in the gym and reach the level of execution, physicality, and performance that we need. And coach, just kind of looking forward a little bit, you know, there's been so much talk, you got your setter. I was talking to Toby. He's already said he's going to be the face of, of the team in, in a year or two. What do you feel for him is going to be the next step in his development, just continue to improve? I think just the game has got to slow down. And I think he's made some strides from September until now. But I think out at, in, in this type of environment, I think he's just got to let things kind of slide. He's going to. He's going to figure it out, but right now I think he's trying to process three, four million bits of information per second, and, and he doesn't. There, there is a lot that's just superfluous noise. Yeah. And final question, Coach, just broader picture. You know, I know you kind of keep, you don't know the results for today, but you kind of keep tabs on the EIVA teams, everything. How do you think the conference has been doing? I'm so proud. I'm so proud of what we're doing now, and you know, you look, you look through the other five programs, certainly. Brian, Danny, Sam, Jay, and, and Luke have been working real hard to get their teams playing the type of game that they know they need to play. And I'm just so proud of the league and, and what we've been doing and, and knowing that, hey, it's not going to be a walk in the park for any of the six of us. And it's going to be some, some pretty, pretty competitive and, and very fun volleyballs when we hit the EIBA schedule.